All right, everybody, welcome back to semi-final coverage, the top four of tonight's uh, Friday Night Magic Standard Tournament from Lost Legion Games and Comics in South Charleston, West Virginia. My name, as always, is Zachary Evans. I'm joined by Logan Cudlip, and we are watching one half of the top four. On the left, Travis Martinez. He's the Cinderella story. He's only been playing Magic for three weeks. This is his first... Friday Night Magic event, and he has just accidentally made it to the top eight by beating uh, local ringer Jonathan Wright, basically. And Jonathan Wright is the one who has accomplished the most in Magic in at least like last six months I mean, with his Star City plays and stuff like that. Uh, so he's doing well. He's playing a mono green ooze deck with Dead Bridge Goliath, String Root Geist, Giant Gross, and Titanic Gross. He's playing against Alec Myers, who's playing a Naya mid-range deck that has all the value creatures. So Restoration Angels, Drag Task, Hunt Masters, uh, there's an Aurelia in there, isn't there? There's two. Yeah. Aurelia. Boros um, Reckoners. There's Boros. Boros, Boros Reckoners. Charm and Domri Rod. Yeah. The uh, point of his deck, and he is kind of experimenting a little, is a uh, it's pretty much um, Boros Reckoner Domri Rod fight things. I uh, I, t I played this a little bit with Alec earlier tonight, and I said that his deck pretty much lives up to everything I know about Alec as a Magic player, which is that he just likes to take all the versions of one deck and then jam them together. Because this is very much, this deck has Boris Reckoners and Blasphemous Axe, it has Dummy Rods, it has Aurelia, <laughs> and it has Huntmaster Thragtusk, uh, Resto, Resto Angel. It has Boris Charm. <laughs> so, does he play Searing Spear? I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't really know. Um, we played like three or four games earlier today, and like, he played Dummy in turn three, and... I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> the dumb ring. You, of course, playing American Flash, it's very hard for you. It is. Do you have a distension sphere on the sideboard? Only one. Yeah, it's very tough. Very tough. And we don't uh, usually sideboard when we play to the same, just because we're bored, or lazy, I should say. All right, so everybody's shuffled up here. I, I wasn't paying attention if they mulliganed or not. Travis did win the Rock, Paper, Scissors contest, so he is going first. Let's see if he starts off on an Arbor Elf. Nope, it's a Dry Militant. That's a, that's a Logan Cutlip card right there. It's a good card. I don't know why everyone... It's someone not one, said it was bad to me. It's not, it, no, that's not, it's not bad at all. It carries a Rancor just well and gives a lot of value off a lot of decks. <clears throat> so, uh, not, not going to get a much value uh, out of Alex's deck in terms of its... Uh, graveyard interaction, but uh, definitely still a card that... Uh, it's a 2 one for one is pretty good. Yeah. You can attack in here and then see if Alec wants to trade his elf. Yep. He does not. Alec's not one for... Uh... And just going to go ahead and lightning bolt you. Yeah. Uh, Travis plays his lightning, his uh, giant growth very aggressively. <laughs> He also plays Titanic Growth. There's Domri Rod. Look for a creature. With nothing. This seems to be a... Domri Rod just gonna die here, is it? <laughs> like, if he has one pump effect, like, it's just... Of course, he might just want to go ahead and, and attack Alec. I mean, he's already yeah. at 13 life. But Alec is playing Huntmaster. Of course, I don't expect Travis to know that he's playing Huntmaster. Right. This is interesting. He's chopping it up there. Yep. Yeah, you know. And then maybe, maybe he doesn't see him as such a threat. Um, it did whiff the first time anyway. So. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dig for another creature. Whiffs again. How many? How many non-creatures are in Alex's deck that aren't Not playing? Like four. There are 34 creatures. There's a strength root guy. He's just gonna stay back on defense. Yeah, gotta keep that Domri alive. Plus, Stringer guys. Block. Oh well. Take out his card to get yours back. Seems good. Stringer guys is a very effective wall. You're exactly right. There's another Arbor Elf. Hmm. 
think he's turned mono green. This is the point in the game where Travis's deck can very much stall out. I mean, he does play a high top end, like he does play the Deadbridge Goliath, but, um... Oh, is it Slaughterhorn? So that's another one of the more budget cards in this deck. I've only seen, like... That's the only main deck card I've seen that I would consider, like, absolutely budget. Game five. <laughs> So Travis up against it here. Here's where we see the the portion of the uh, the match where Travis's deck has the potential to just be outclassed by just a better quality of card. It's just so hard for him to push through damage in a clogged board like this, and nothing clogs a board better than a Thrag Tusk. So Jeff's going to go ahead and serve in here everything at Domri. We'll see if he's got a trick and wants to uh, pump the unblocked creature to kill Domri. I think that's what he is considering. No, he does not. So Domri survives yet again at one life. Dig again, this time hitting. Probably the best card you can find in the Huntmaster, since it adds multiple bodies to the field. Helps it gum up the works even more. Cavern of Souls naming <laughs> likely Werewolf. Don't really think it matters at this point, as this man is pretty good. I know Alec is not playing uh, Thunder Maw Hellkite, and that's often the card hardest to cast because it needs double red. Yeah, while you were going, Logan, uh, crap really hit the fan here. <laughs> Alec, uh, hit a, uh, Huntmaster off a of Dom reactivation. And we see, I assume that was a Rancor, by the way it was put on there. I can only assume that was a Rancor. Yeah, it's like a it's like a magic trick. <laughs> we were watching it on the uh, on the delayed Twitch stream here on our second monitor, and he literally played that card so it could not be seen from hand to current uh, position. I think there's a very small amount of text on that, and he did it again. <laughs> so serving in with a what we assume is a four-one trampling. Um, Dryad Militant. It's going to go ahead and Titanic Growth it. We're going to take... Uh, oh, I guess I missed a life gain there from the uh, Huntmaster. So down to 11. But of course Alex in the spot now where he can just pass back without casting anything. Flip his Huntmaster. Kill the Militant and so on and so forth. So Alec pounding in with a wolf token and a strength root, guys. I'm going to go ahead and drop down to 12. Nope, 10. And as expected, he's going to uh, kill the Rancord. Lesney, or uh, Dryad Militant, 
With the Huntmasker. The Huntmasker flip. Goodness, I'm falling apart. Huntmasker. Huntmasker. So, Rancor up. An Arbor Elf. There's just really no way of pushing through damage here. Now, Travis is playing three copies of Revenge of the Hunted, and I see that he does have a Titanic Growth in him. So he could potentially steal one of these by, you know, miracling revenge and loading up the other guy. The EDH game out there is getting very heated. Restoration Angel. On Huntmaster of the Fells. What would you call your MTG themed rock band? What? What would you call your MTG themed rock band? That has nothing to do with the stream at all. Appearance in the chat by Dan Bopes, who is asking if it's a standard FNM. It is a standard FNM. And uh, Chad was forced to save his uh, last creature with the Titanic growth after Alec blinks his Huntmaster. This game has been over for multiple turns. <laughs> this was this game has been over since he revealed the uh, Huntmaster of the Fells off of the Dom reactivation. I love how he carefully at first like decided to, like when he was tagging, he just kind of tapped two things, and then he just kind of like tapped the rest of them. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> So, Travis Martinez, in his third week of magic, of his magic career, in his first ever Friday Night Magic tournament, has made it to the top four, but has run up against it in game one against the Naya Value deck of Alec Myers. He will be on the play in game two, so we'll see if he fares any better. In the other semifinal, we have one Mr. Scotty Wright playing Aristocrats Act 2. Act 2? I don't know why. It's Act 2. This is the dumbest hated name it. ever. I hated it. And uh, one Mr. Max Turner, who we've seen multiple times tonight, do very mean things. He has both uh, Tamio emblemed with a fog in his hand to beat Travis in the uh, round 5. Match up, feature match, and then he uh, cast two curses of he two curses of death hold against the token deck, and then paired a dead eye navigator with a six line. So between that deck and aristocrats, it's the battle of the two buttheads <laughs> to see who gets to be the bigger jerk. And then uh, they will play the winner of this match, which unless Travis can put together a pretty blazing fast start here. Looks like it might be Alec. Although I would like to point out that once again, once again, Logan, I'm undefeated at FNM tonight. Undefeated on the year. I actually played, uh, we actually, I actually played on the stream tonight. Yeah. Played some Legacy. Some Legacy. <laughs> well, there was like, I was like round three or four, the round ended, we had like a half hour left, and there was like nobody, yeah. it was just one of those odd, awkward times, so me and, me and Brad Rose just played like, <laughs> of course we played like five games of Legacy in like 20 minutes or whatever. I beat him 2-1 with uh, Show and Tell, and 2-0 with Elves, I guess Burn. It was very exciting. That deck's fun. It's burn deck. Which one? It's burn deck. Yeah, the burn deck is fun. You get up to cast the goblin guy and then bolt everybody. Why not? Of course it's fun. <laughs> I have it sleeped up in my bag. First time I ever played it. My lightning bolts are much prettier though than his. Oh, really? I have the, the full art foil ones. Oh, the player rewards and Yeah. Track those now. Yeah, you seek things like Of that. course I've got to have those. It's lightning oh, bolt. Lightning bolt? It's my bread and butter. Bread and butter. When they just gonna reprint it? Mm -hmm. 
when they get in here. One of these times was just gonna be like, you know what? Corset. Mm. Super broken. Let's go. See, here's an interesting thing, because Dan Bopes is the creator of this awesome bot called MTG Bot that I learned about from watching Legacy over at our sister broadcast on uh, South Florida Magic. Let's see if it works. That's a good card. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, yeah, it does. Look at that. Hmm, so you can just bring up the text on the card. I have no idea how that works. That's as far as I'm concerned, black magic and hand-waving, but thanks to Dan Bopes for the hookup on that, for writing a cool, uh, cool bot like that. That's interesting. Also interesting is game two of this match. So I think everybody is on seven cards here. Looks like Travis is still considering his opener. Looks like we're keeping Alec fueling up with long draw off that uh, Dr. Pepper. Seems sketchy. <laughs> no, no, no. Shoot, I did the opposite. <laughs> uh, I guess you uh, want to. Uh, oh, come on now. I think you want to go to his name and like. <laughs> did the opposite of what I wanted to do. <laughs> and the worst. <laughs> like, there you go. OP. There we go. Let's go back to the action here. We've got dueling strangle root geists. I don't know what Alec was doing with that thing. Is this the playmat that he won at the Grand Prix? Uh, yeah. From the, I, I love it. The Grand Prix. See it. Were you at the Grand Prix? No, you were. I, I didn't go to Pittsburgh. I uh, didn't have money. Pittsburgh. 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 I know it's late, but. What did he do? Did someone try to sad face? Interesting. And there is Dom Rad. He's going to use the string root guys to fight the Arbor Elf. And this is going to sit back on defense here with the string root guys. Whoops! That card is really good because now you get to kill Domri and the Strangle Root guys, right? What is it? Miracle Revenge of the Hunted? Yeah, it's pretty good. Assuming that he attacks Domri here, which I think is the best play. No. He's going to take... Oh, so that's 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. He blocks two sets, 10, right? Down to 6. <laughs> that's pretty good, right? If he, has a, if he has a giant growth, he's dead next turn. But I imagine there's a Huntmaster coming, right? There's an Absence Pilgrim, at least. Let's see, we see a Sneaky Jonathan right there. Can I take him away out? Oh, Pillar of Flame. Getting it. Officially got the uh, MTG bot on here, which I think is nice just for, I know it has a lot of functionality, which I won't go into because in some ways people start to using it uh, a little bit too much, but uh, I do like the table flip, that's fun, um, but it's just just awesome way of revealing a text on any card, so if we ever have those questions. Table flip, that's cool. Huntmaster, Ab uh, Arbor Elf. So back up to eight. I 
see that you got the uh, um, things to like compile into one little. You know, oh yeah, I did change the way they do. Well, I, I learned a little bit about how XML works. Thanks to Dave Winsauer of the, uh, also of the uh, South Florida Magic Legacy stream. He is my technical hookup on things like that. Because I believe he works in the IT industry. Who's Chaz Dragon Damon? Huh? Who is this? That is uh, Chaz. He's just a guy who's followed us for a while. No, oh, okay, because he just spelled that <laughs> <laughs> it's just a typo. It's funny. Yeah. Yeah. So there's uh, Dudley Reckless. She's not going to get. Not gonna, there was a period. There's a a period of time here where um, Travis could have won this game. I think if he had drawn a significant, if, a right number of uh, pump spells. But this game is. Uh, Pretty much speeding down the highway towards an Alec win now that he has Domri online and a flipped Huntmaster. So he's just going to fight whatever Travis plays, and he doesn't even, doesn't even have a chance to uh, add to his board here. So Alec with six mana. He has another mana dork he can flip the other Huntmaster if he wanted to. Serve in for five here. And he does have another mana dork, so his Huntmaster is going to flip. So this is brutal. This is brutal, Logan. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This didn't play like. It's probably on. Look, he's got an Aurelia in hand. Oh no. He doesn't have dead on board yet. No, the but there's split. there's no I mean, there's no series of cards that Travis can play. Like he can play land. <laughs> he could play. I mean, his best play here is like strangle root geist, rancor maybe. Even that I don't think gets any damage in. Alex gained four life off of two hunt masters, and it's just way too far out of green burn spell range. Mm. Yeah, okay. So there's death on board. <laughs> and, he, and that's enough. Well, congratulations to Travis for doing very well for his first time ever playing uh, F and M. I think his deck was, and his deck, like I said, he does have the high end of Dead Bridge Goliath. He does play all four Predator Ooze. Like he has real cards in there. The only card in his entire deck that. Uh, I think is like a hundred percent budget is that Slaughterhorn. And Slaughterhorn's not really that uh, that good uh, a card, except in the way he plays his deck, which is like all giant growth. Like it's perfectly fine, I guess, because it's just more giant growth that occasionally you can cast as a three two, right? Mm -hmm. Is it three two for three? Like two and a green, the Slaughterhorn. I don't I don't know because I don't really know what it is. So well, let's just use the the MTG bot here. It is a 3-2 blood rush for... It's a, it's a giant growth equivalent. It's a plus 3, plus 2. Yeah. But it is a 3-2 that you can occasionally cast. Seems pretty good. So we are down to the finals here. One half is going to be Alec, and the other half is going to be...